Right. Thank you very much for still staying with us here on KTN Friday Briefing. We now want to cross over live to Kisumu County, where Willis, the word master, also known as Willis Ocheng, is joining us tonight on this very eventful night. Willis, it's great to see you tonight, looking sharp and uh, very bright. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, Betty, in the first place. You look cool and it adds some power to what is happening in Kenya tonight. <laughs> I like that, Willis. Now, um, I don't know if we have a word on the street ready for us because it was quite an interesting one uh, this week. Let's take a look at that. Conscience, yeah, silly. Conscientiously. 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 Consecutively. Conscientiously. 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 Conscientiously, consentiously, consentiently, consciously. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think people just give themselves their own <laughs> different words. Con <laughs> consecutively, I've heard all sorts of things. Well, is that word, it's very tricky. I don't even want to try and pronounce it. Tell us, Willis, you're the word master. <laughs> But uh, if I'm not wrong, I remember there is a time we also had uh, some focus like so uh, from the streets and I just said this word is uh, very tricky. Uh -huh. We say conscientiously, conscientiously, conscientiously. very tricky. Conscientiously. Conscientiously. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> conscientiously. <Yes. laughs> All right. That's, that's a mouthful. There you are. Uh -huh. Consci conscientiously? No, this word correct? is conscientiously. Okay. Conscientiously. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Hey, Willis, that is that's how you pronounce that word, Betty. That's a difficult one, Willis. M but moving on to another one here. What in the street is always so hilarious. Moving on to another one. Um, I'll spell it out. E-C-H-E-L-O-N. -E do we say echelon, echelon, when you ne mean like a level, a certain level or, or, or rank? <laughs> the digraph CH mm -hmm. takes the sounding or the pronunciation, sh, mm -hmm. that sound sh for CH, just like in chef. Mm -hmm. So you say echelon, not echelon, mm -hmm. not echelon, Betty. Wow, okay, that's a surprise, will it? Will it echelon, is that correct? Echelon, echelon, echelon. Just like you say, charlatan, not charlatan, not charlatan, 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 echelon, chef. All right, chef, echelon, and charlatan. Got it, Willis. Moving on to another word. Now, this word we've had it especially with Obama's visit. You know, people saying itinerary, itinerary, itinerary. Which is which, Willis? Tell us. That word begins with the diphthong or the vowel glide, I, uh -huh. itinerary. itinerary, itinerary, not uh -huh. itinerary, uh -huh. it's I, not E, okay. so we say itinerary. Itinerary, got it Willis. Moving on to another yes. word here, um, psychiatrist, psych, psychiatrist, how do we pronounce that word, psychiatrist? Um, psychiatry, you know, there's so many variations of that one, Willis. How do we go about that one? We say psychiatrist, psychiatrist, what we call a triphone in that case, psychiatrist, Psychiatry. just like psychiatry. But when we deal with the adjective Betty, we don't say psychiatric, mm -hmm. we now say psychiatric, mm -hmm. psychiatric, mm -hmm. but psychiatry and Psychiatrist. 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 Yes. It's like breaking the word in three different 
um, clusters, psychiatrists, right? Those are inflections. 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 <laughs> Changing the form of a word for grammatical function. Uh -huh. Just like we say strategy, uh -huh. but we don't say strategic. Uh -huh. We now say strategic. Strategic. Yes. All right, got it, got it, Willis. There you are. Moving on to another one here. We say warden or warden, you know, to mean like, you know, like a, you know, like a ranger in the park. Is it a warden, warden? The letters A and R or mm -hmm. R form what we call the vowel digraph uh -huh. in that word. Uh -huh. So we don't say wa, we say wo, a warden. Warden or warden. Warden ah. or warden. 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 Yes. warden. Yes. Is that correct? Warden. 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 There you are. This is where those who love soloing words, yes. it's allowed in this case. It's allowed. Warden, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. like student, mm -hmm. important. So you say warden. But warden. saying warden is not bad. Okay, but I prefer warden. There's some nice feel to it. Warden. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our feedback question. Mm -hmm. Stylish a bit. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's moving on to our feedback question. Um, we have Geoffrey Watiri, who happens to be my former teacher, <laughs> asking about the subject that he actually used to teach me. Do we say mathematics, mathematics, maths? How do we go about that, Willis? You can say maths, maths, not mm -hmm. maths, mm -hmm. not maths, mm -hmm. maths. Math then you can also say mathematics, mathe, mathematics, uh -huh. not made, not madi, <laughs> mathematics, maths. All right, mathematics, got it Willis. Uh, Willis, you know you've uh, surprised us with the echelon, you know, and charlatan. Yes. Do you have any <laughs> surprise word in your bag this evening? Betty, before I give you my surprise word, I want to remind people that we talk of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and you can also say entrepreneur. Noership, mm -hmm. nourship. Right. Entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. So, right. entrepreneurship. my surprise word, Betty, is the word that many people often succumb. Uh -huh. To succumb, succumb to cancer, uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. So that mb is not there. Okay. You say succumb. B is silent, uh -huh. just like dumb, uh -huh. not dumb. Okay. Succumb, not succumb. Right. So we should avoid succumb and say succumb. Succumb. Succumb is the correct one. Yes. And also entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be hearing a lot of that word this weekend, Willis. <laughs> Willis. <laughs> Betty, always it's my pleasure. I really enjoy talking to you. And that your English teacher deserves a pat on the back because <laughs> of the quality of English that you speak. Wow. And you can see I'm having some two words here yes. now on the paper. Uh -huh. And the upper one is the correct spelling of that word. Mm -hmm. We should not spell it the way we have the word which is below. That's the wrong spelling. Uh -huh. And sometimes we mispronounce words due to wrong spellings. Will the upper one, we pronounce us? that word as yacht. Just lift yacht. it up for us so that we can see not properly. Not yacht. <laughs> yes, there I we can go. raise it up a bit. <laughs> yes, yes, so there we go. the upper one, we say yacht uh -huh. yacht uh -huh. not yach uh -huh. so we should talk of letter y for yacht uh -huh. that is yacht okay. not yach as we hear especially in schools okay. the lower one wrong spelling the upper one yacht and correct spelling otherwise right. bye for tonight betty <laughs> willis thank you so much for the lesson tonight i think i've gotten something like uh, the first word conscientious <laughs> Thank you very much, Willis, for your time and, of course, being part of KTN Friday Briefing. Remember, you can catch him on Twitter at Willis Ocheng one